Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up the Generation 3 Trillium. So let's see what's in the bag. Got new roll top dry bag style um, carrier bag with the tree protector wraps, the straps and ratchets, and Trillium. So now we're ready to lay out the floor and point the three D-ring corners to the trees that we're going to be using. Um, got to make sure that the web, um, seatbelt webbing on the outside is facing up and the underfloor straps and the underfloor storage nets, which are detachable, are facing the floor. Our ratchet with the loop end, we put the loop end through the D-ring and then the ratchet through the loop. Repeat for every D-ring at each corner. So I'm going to take a tree wrap first and I'm going to put it around my tree at the height that I want to do it on. This tree is a little bit lower than the others so I'm going to have to put this one higher than um, expected so that we can even the tent out at around the four foot or 1.2 meter mark. Well, that's the tree wrap. Then you take your strap, go to the end with the loop, pass the loop around the tree, and then put the tail through the loop, pulling it through and pointing it towards the tent and we do the same to the other two trees. Then we can take the tail of the strap that's around the tree, feed it through the spindle of the ratchet, and pull some of that slack out and unlock the ratchet, giving it a few pumps. Take the tail of the strap, put it through the ratchet spindle, take out all the slack, hoist the trillium into the air, pulling as hard as I can and then clasping it with one hand while I reach for the ratchet and put some tension into it. Before I completely finish tensioning, I just want to check the alignment. What we're aiming for is a straight line, as straight as we can anyway, within seven degrees. Um, the straighter you can get it, the better it will be for the equal tension between this side and this side of your trillium floor. But if we can get a straight line between the orange strap and the underfloor straps, which run underneath these three, this triple seam here, um, that is what we're aiming for. And then we're gonna crank it as tight as we can, kind of seven to nine pumps on this handle, not making sure to not overfill the spool, because then it will start to chew and it might not catch. Once we've got the tensile as tight as we can, uh, we lift this locking mechanism here by pinching the handle and the lock together and setting the handle flat closed against the body, I mean, um, making sure that this plate is inside the housing here. You can see this is the housing, lock, lay flat, you're locked in. 